that like this little crack in reality is moving mm-hmm. towards the doors. Yeah. So as the as Dreadhold continues to fly, you watch as it gets very close. It takes about. Um, Dreadhold is like. It takes about almost twenty minutes mm-hmm. uh, as it <laughs> as it keeps minutes. inching closer. Huh. Do you guys want to do anything in that twenty minutes? I know you've set your snares. Um, is it three healing potions? I'm taking them sure. all. Sure, go for it. Absolutely. Right. That's just one d four plus four. Two d four plus two. That's one per potion. Okay. Any, or, yeah. It's okay if the answer is no. I'm just, no, I'm there's not a lot. I, I can't. If 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 any of if any of the people that were there, uh, like the kin, mm-hmm. were there and I was able to catch it, I might cast Gentle Repose on one. So he has one body to bury. They're past that, that yeah. one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, you, you, you go to make the attempt, and it is appreciated. Yeah. It's just by... Um, these guys have had, were probably right, not Rickens... Oh, I mean, these guys were probably lackeys for whoever was in charge here before Ripken. Do so. we know what this tear is? Do we know what? We have no idea. And you have never. Is there something in it? You can try. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm all about this. Yeah. I'm all about this. <laughs> I read quick, some quick oh, sides. Yeah. Do you want to throw like it? Yeah, we gave it to you and fleed it down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you have an answer. That's, there that's why you Surprise. Were Uh-oh. Congrats. Congrats. It's okay. I have the bag of holding. You want to throw like a like a gem in there or something? I do not, but you can. Yeah, who, who has good dexterity? I'm going to throw a rock. There's probably a rock. Or is oh, gonna... rock. Piece Such of... a better idea. Is there a rock on the ground, maybe? No, what if it only has like one expenditure sure. so it doesn't... Mm. Yeah, I think no. Yeah, I just want to wait for it to go to the door. Is there anyone that has like a makeshift weapon that looks like they might fight? Because I can cast Shillelagh on it, and it's a cantrip, and make it actually like a damaging weapon. Rick can, can oh. fight, but other than him, no, no, these are no. these are not fighters. I and Rick can even has like a fourteen. Yeah, um, by yeah. this door, just in case this thing hits the door. Yeah, my revolver and, and, and opens it up. Like I say, we we should be prepped in this room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm tuning my center and my revolver is fully loaded. Um, I'm looking watching, at my clothes and getting like, angrier. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys are there. Mm-hmm. In case that knight comes through, through, I want to put fairy fire. Okay. Sounds good. I just want to sing hymns under my breath, just fervently. Okay. So I'm gonna pass out. Bark. I'm gonna pass out bark to everybody. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we watch as the scar in reality begins to creep ever closer <laughs> to the door, and then you see it hit the runes and like a like a knife through whipped cream it just cuts the runes and the door and the stone beyond it and you now have this two inch sort of peephole that you can see as this emptiness of of nothing uh just removes whatever it comes into contact with. I peep. Good thing we didn't uh cool, 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 cool. Oh, yeah, the, runes, that's how they get. the runes are still active even though like there's been a hole that's been cut in the Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we just let's, let's take a look. Material. Let's take a look. I, you could so you explore it. There's the cut in there and it's not very big. You could stick a your you could stick like a sword through there. Like that you can pass through. But as far as but the rest of the room wall is still intact. or a bug intact. Good fit a bug. Beyond as you peek beyond the room wall. Peep. Yeah. With a yeah. peep. It's different from peeking. It is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bro- y'all broke reality. I don't know. <laughs> What we, we off the rails tonight. Yeah. Yeah. What Michael, am I going to do to argue? We yeah. pissed off two gods yeah. at an entire prison. Yeah. But we got to see another one that was friendly. So yeah, yeah. the we best are. god. You yeah. can see the there is about a 
certain 60 foot hallway. Mm -hmm. There is a, um, the hallway comes to sort of a stone dead wall. There are, uh, looks like at one point was, um, Nick, do you have any proficiency in like stone cunning or anything like that? Make me a nope. intelligence check, then, please. Earn Daddy's love. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what a middle finger, huh? Screw like, you, fuck dad. you, Dad. The red-headed, <laughs> the You're not red-headed, my real dad. The red-headed stepchild <laughs> rears its head. I got a one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's a three. It's hard with your dragonborn eye to kind of <laughs> look through there. Um, 60 foot hallway, that's about what you right. get. Giant sized, um, about 25 feet tall. Okay. Um, about the size of this door, but you don't see another door on the other side. You don't really see what, you don't know where the other entrance or exit from that hallway would be. Um, but you do, however, you can slowly see the scar. Passing on, creeping away as Dreadhold continues to move. Wait, are we trying to open this door? Yes. And it's a magical door. There. Technically. Okay. I mean, it's probably a pretty powerful door. I can make magic go away. But, I mean, it might be more powerful than me, so it might not work anyway. But if you wanted to, I could try. Perhaps I could help we as well. Tried stuff. Before. I don't what think we tried to just dispel. Yeah, did you guys I try to dispel? I don't think spell? we did that. No, I don't think we did. Yeah, we could dispel magic. It's like fifth level. So if it's a fifth level or the question is, do we do we want her to burn that fifth level spell, fifth level spell on or this. do we want to? Now, technically, I have two wait. fifth levels, so I have something left. But where where do we get the key from? The Black Knight. The Black Knight has, has like a, a necklace. With so a what if we were to tempt him to come oh. out? And we could catch him, I suppose, on our terms. We could do get help. Well, from what I understand, he comes out pretty much once daily. Got it. And he's already, he's already had his his daily venture. He almost took Ritkin. Sure, we can. Um, but I would say, with a granular nature of assuredness, that we will be seeing something coming from the store. It might not be the Black Knight, but it might be something of greater import with a key of some nature as well. You guys can hear, sounds distant now, but it's for the first time you realize the runes had blocked more than just the opening of the door. They had negated any sound that was coming from the other Uh side. Um, But you hear the lurching of a large wooden door beginning to open on the other side of, of uh-huh. this one. Um, Mion did try to smell <laughs> magic on it. On I think she head. had to roll for it. But I don't think she used it at fifth level, though. I think she just did, like, a third level. Oh, it, maybe. Yeah, I do not it's remember. a third level spell. Well, oh, if we okay. get something That's to come out, we don't have to use a spell. Yes, if we can And it sounds it. like something is coming. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. The entire rock hall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so like swim away. <laughs> so Porsche's with us. Animus is with us. Lotus is with us. Or they are they, are, they are not in fighting shape. Oh, okay. it's us. They use the most of their stuff to get us here. Yep. Yeah, so their spells and everything we're used to get us into games. Yeah, it's on us. It's not. Maybe. It's not healing them. It's like their spell slots are gone. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do all of you have a magic weapon? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, if I An- cast Shillelagh, does it make it magical? Yeah. Anim- yes. An- Animus can cast. Animus can cast magic weapon on one of your weapons. Okay. okay. He can. So if somebody needs that, he can do that. I might. I might ask simply because I mean I I still have the twenty shot what of the do? plus two uh, bullets, Shillelagh? so that should last me twenty shots. So he will, he can he'll cast it. But if he can, but, but 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 the question is, It'll if he casts some bullets, yeah, I was gonna say if he can cast it on my on my pistol, yeah, then that makes it a magic weapon. Yeah, I will take that. Yeah, let's do that instead. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. He'll cast that. For Excellent. You. Hell yeah, magic. Because right. if I can get diplomacy made into a magical weapon, that'd be fun. Okay. You guys are there. You can see the um, like who's looking through the slit, who's peeping or peeking. Is it still Rothgar? I'm casting Shillelagh on my quarterstaff okay. to make it magical. Yeah. Rothgar's peeping. Rothgar. Peeping. You can see beyond the veil. Nope. Damn. Not the veil. <laughs> Worth a shot. 
It was. <laughs> but no. <laughs> you can see coming down the hallway, there are looks like five things. Um, they're at a distance first, and compared to the very large hall, it's difficult to really kind of make them out. But what you do eventually notice is that there are four, looks like four pretty beefy guards. They are in um, armor. They seem to have similar sort of runes on the armor as to what the door uh, mm-hmm. is experiencing. Um, there is one of them in the front. You can tell that that one up front does have a um, a special room that is emanating out of its um, out of its armor. So there were four of them, or there were four, and then a fifth guy. No, 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 four. Okay, um, four guards, one with a special room mm-hmm. behind them. Boom. <laughs> which you can see they all have chains. They look like ethereal, magical chains uh, latched onto this thing's neck. And you can't see his wrist, but you can assume assume his wrist. There is uh, something that looks... uh, It's cloaked over with a hood. You can't really see its face. You can sort of see these yellowish eyes that kind of swirl and blink. And then up over one of the shoulders of the guards that is leading it back over there, you can see what looks like a tentacle sort of. So I turn around to everyone and I'm like, okay. Um, this is going to happen really quick. Uh, we got four beefy boys. One of them has a really nice necklace, and they're dragging something with ethereal-looking chains. And if I'm not mistaken, that thing had tentacles. Well, Would I have any idea to know what the hooded tentacle thing it was? You can make a history check. Oh, it's one of my good skills. Giving. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's 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 good. Okay, 22. 22. Okay. Yes. Um yeah, it is some form of mind flare. It's a mind flare. Okay. Oh, good. They like brains. They sure do. Yes. Okay. But maybe if they're like ethereal chains, so they're magical chains, so maybe if we break the chains, he'll eat the beefy boys. We can try. I don't think we have much time to formulate a plan though. Yeah, um, they're about 30 feet away. Yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely. My, yeah, my plan time. is just to attack them all and uh, try to sort them out. And ideally, uh, yeah, let's let's maybe go in for the Mind Slaver might be the first target. And any chance I could get like a quick heal. Yeah, I got you. I'm like 20 HP down. Um, here, I'm going to, I'll use my Saturn's uh, Charge of Cure Wounds. On you. I'll do another one. Well, yeah. um, because if you'll, this gets me, you'll need both. Yeah, I will. Yep. For twenty. HP. All right. Uh, eight points. Eight. Um. Uh, plus another five from me. That's beautiful. I'm almost back to full. Activate spores. Okay. Cut through fire. Okay. Yep. You got your decks. Oh yeah. Shuffle them up. Oh, they're shuffled. Oh, I didn't even think. Am I out? You guys hear the large crack of the stone door, of the wood door against the stone, and the runes begin to shudder and shimmer. Uh, I need you all to flip for initiative. Don't go right in front of the doors. Yeah. Come back. Cut it out. Okay. Starting at the top with Ace. King. King. Okay. So the door is open. Uh, the door is open, I'm going to say five feet. So we can Ten see. Ten feet. Uh, it's a massive door. You can see one person. Okay. I can see one person. You can see one heavily armored humanoid. Cool. Now, 
if I were to do something and say a cone mm -hmm. through the door, would it hit all of them? Uh, no, the door gives them at least three quarters cover, except for the first one. Damn it. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you might be able to catch a few more. They would get bonuses to their saves. No, no, I'm saving that for when I can see them all. Okay. <laughs> um, then... <sighs> This sucks because I can't see much. Um, who does not have high intelligence or wisdom? <laughs> you don't. I don't. Have, you don't. I don't have very. I don't have particularly high intelligence. I got a thirteen. What's yours? Uh, my intelligence is a fifteen, but my wisdom is a ten. And yours? My. Uh, uh, intelligence is an 11. My wisdom is 15. So I'm yeah, I'm good wisdom. So if we're going against a mind flare, should probably enhance someone's wisdom or intelligence, probably saving, right? Or so you think it like enhance ability? Yeah. That's like skill checks. I don't think it's saving throws or anything along those lines. No. It's okay. just for like for skill checks. Uh, shit. I think I'm just going to prepare a cone of cold and just kind of back up a little bit okay because at this point with the door that far open there's not much i can do if i can't see That's anyone good. so you begin to hold cone of cold yeah. uh which drops your previous concentration spell yeah i don't think we're gonna need pass without trace at this point <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is fine just, yeah just let you know she looking frosty mm -hmm. <laughs> we're fine here everything's fine, everything's fine. How, how are you, you? <laughs> boring conversation anyway yep. um okay King, queen. Queen. Go for it. What's your dex? Uh, dex is plus three, 16. Plus three. You yeah. go. Go for it. I am going to use my action mm -hmm. to do my intimidating presence, mm -hmm. which they have to make a eight plus four plus two, so eight plus six. So they have to make a, uh, they have to beat a, well, is that eight plus six? That's that's 14. 14. 14. Thank you. They have to beat a 14 um, charisma save, I believe. Okay. Uh, and if they don't, they are feared. Uh, they are afraid of me. You got it. So we are doing the four, four guys up front. Anyone close. who can see me, I believe. Uh, yeah, let me do them. I'll do them in order. So, natural 20, natural 18, and then a natural 7 and 8, and it is a um, wisdom save? For Charisma. fear? Wisdom is usually oh. fear. Uh, yeah. Plus 2. So, no. So, two of them? Two of them are afraid. Yes. And... Let me just double check for... The other guy is in natural 19. Okay, oh, yeah, I kind of other. The other. The definitely anything. So, yeah, you let out this draconic roar. It rips through even the wood and the runes, and you can it, you can sort of see them as one of them has opened the door. He suddenly, like, flinches back as just this primal gut instinct of a predator coming to devour him has, um, has sent him back. Uh, anything else, Rothgar? Uh, yes. With that, I am then going to um, uh, bonus action, open up my wings. Okay. And I'm going to fly 30 feet into the air, just okay. straight up. Straight and, up. And so uh, for those of you who haven't seen, um, Rothgar is wearing, his clothes are tattered, but he's wearing this cloak. And as he yells, the cloak opens up into dragon wings, black dragon. Yeah. Uh, I think they were black, right? Or were they silver? Were they? The wings on the cloak. Up to you. Okay. Let's say they let's just say they're silver for the great. So they um <laughs> so they sil the silver cloak and the wings open up and it just <laughs> and it goes about thirty feet in the air. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's uh, DC play. eight. Your proficiency bonus, your charisma modifier, wisdom saving throw, or be frightened until the end of your next turn. On subsequent turns, you can use your action to extend the duration of this effect on the frightened. Okay. I have a question. Yes. When can I release 
Whenever, when close, is it on my turn? Or uh, when? So it's before your turn. Yeah. And from what I understood, you wanted to be able to, you can choose when to release it. Okay. But it's, you want to be able to see more of them. Yeah. Okay. Great. I've I've actually never held some of this yeah. before, so that's why I, I want to clarify like you when I can. Well, you are full Kamehameha powering up right now. Got it. I'm in the Kame part of it. Right. Yeah. I gotta get the Hame. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You saw you saw, you saw that half an episode ago. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so twenty minutes later. <laughs> um with the one up front that initially opened the door feared, and the guy right behind him. Uh, both of them who had been closest to Rothgar having that primal reaction. They, the two behind them sort of gruffly push past. They are mm, sort of Goliath or orc um, in size. They don't all look necessarily like that. Two of them are de- definitely are mm-hmm. Goliath and an orc. You figure the others might be human. Um, but they're all big guys. Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Big beefy um, they throw open the door another five feet so that they can push past their friend. Um, as they come running in, you see them readying weapons. The two that are afraid are going to hurl um, javelins. Can I see them all? You can see... Yeah. So isn't there the snare in front of the door? Yeah. Um, right. We'll get to, get yeah. to it yeah. one step at a time. <laughs> Um, so the two that are running through the door, the first one comes through. It's going to be a dex save. What is your dexterity plus? W- is it a spell or is it just an ability? Um, it is a, uh, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. That is 13. No. So what happens? So they um, are hung upside down. They're restrained upside down three feet in the air. Okay. So he is restrained upside down. He goes healing. There, there we go. <laughs> and he's nice. upside down. So. Nice. Okay. Um, are you releasing Cone of Cold now? Can I see the Mind Flayer too? Okay, but here's my thing though, team. So like, this Mind Flayer is in chains, right? Yes, currently. So obviously it's being held against his will. Yes. Any mm-hmm. chance we could get it on our side? Well, that's what I'm saying. If think, we release like, it, I mean, I have it might go for I that. I try real hard. I mean, yes. But mind flayers are sentient creatures. They're intelligent. They are. Like, they're really intelligent. They still charm monster. But I mean, like, do you think if it got released, it would attack their the captors? I'm willing to bet they will. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in chains. Otherwise, it would just be, like, kind of, like, being led and not, like, dragged along this. So, yeah, I would say whatever we can we do to them break them, ethereal chains, yeah. let's... let's just see about that. Yeah, so I can see the the four beefy boys, right? Yes, you can. Okay, I'll release Cone of Cold on them. Okay, you can see the Mind Flare as well. Do I want to hit it? I, I don't know if I have a choice. Let's try. Let's let's all see if you have a choice. If, if, if they're all within the just frame. get beefy boys if you can. Yeah, I want to just get the beefy boys. No. Is it was it behind the door still? Like, will I hit it? Yeah, you will. What if I like? Went to the side and like dangled it. Yeah, but it's not your turn anymore. You mm-hmm, just had mm-hmm. the, the spell ready to go when the door opened more. Sure. I feel, uh, it's your call. call. Yeah, but if I don't, I'm going to waste the spell. That's, yeah. Yep. I, I think I say just go for it and we yeah, will I'm gonna, see if we can reason with them. I'll, I'll do it. I'm going to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't I, see you back there. <laughs> as you begin to, so you are casting the spell? Yeah. Okay. Just going to let it go? Kamehameha? Oh, no. He's going to counter spell. That sounds about right. Yeah. The, um, will you guys, and now that you guys are seeing him much closer, he's, he's a mind flayer. Yeah. You see the squiddy tentacles, all that stuff. But he looks a little gaunt. He looks a little decrepit. He looks maybe undead. Um, Make history checks. Get it, this one. That's Twelve. Not what I needed. Ten. Um, that's 18. seventeen. Natural nine. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Um, might you guys know a couple of things? Mind players usually eschew magic, uh, and this one is definitely casting a spell. Uh, and he looks closer to dead than alive. Uh, so. 
You don't know the technical term for it, but he does cast counter spell. Mm, um, cool. So it is a what level spell? Uh, fifth. A fifth level spell. Intelligence is his modifier. He is a plus four. So he needs to total 15. Ha-ha. So the spell goes off. Oh, cool. I, can I yell out as I'm doing it to like him be like, we're trying to help you. And then do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. so go <laughs> we're trying to help you. Take 46 <laughs> damage. Uh, it's 8d8. Oh, sorry. My bad. 8d8. Oh. Uh, that's not d8. Can I borrow one more d8, please? Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's blue. Yeah. Oh, better read them. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Hold on, I'm bad at math. Okay. Thirty-seven points of cold damage. Okay, and it is Constitution saving throw. Yes. Correct. So, mind flare succeeds with a twenty plus. That's good. Um, well, sorry. The other guys, what is your DC? 17. Sorry. 17. Uh, 13 plus 5. One of them succeeds. Okay. So that is going to be 19 points of damage for that guy. Um, and then it was 37 on the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So <laughs> the door just. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you guys see their um, magical armor begin to glow. Now it is their turn. They get to finish their turn. Uh, Dude that is upside down and restrained is now going to have to throw javelins. It is at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Um, He gets to make one javelin attack. He's going to aim it at Mm -hmm. you. Natural 12, natural 18, plus 6. So 18 total to hit? No. Okay. Um, The ones that are afraid, one is going to attack Rothgar at disadvantage. Uh, That's going to be a 13. The other one attacks uh, Miku for a 12. The one that is not a disadvantage is going to... um, I know where Miku is. I know where Rothgar is. Is there anybody in between them? In between the bad guys and Miku? Probably. Yeah, that's me. Are you? No, no, I'm okay. hanging back. I, I'm, I'm okay. range. I'm full range. I know better. Okay. I don't know where I am because I backed up, so I don't know where I am. I thought you moved into position to oh, get yeah. as many of them through the door. Oh, you allowed me to move in position. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, on your turn. Oh, okay. You had moved so that when they opened the door a little. Oh, further, I had said that I prepared it and backed yeah, up. So it's okay. Door. But, so it's door open. Bad guys. Miku. Rothgar. The rest of us. Oh, if she had backed up, then then I imagine I'm I'm right there in it. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we all would have been lined up. Like right more or less. Okay. So I remember saying yeah. I backed up, but if okay. if it, yeah. if I if I had to move to get them, then I will be wherever I need Eight, to be. You're okay. So I just need so yeah. Robar. I don't yeah. want anyone to be in the way because of. You're okay. So, uh, let's do this. Two flail attacks. Uh, that is a fourteen and a sixteen. Um, so 20 and 22 to hit. Yeah, those both hit. Okay. Um, that is going to be... Oh, terrible damage. Eight uh, points of damage. And Miku, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. 14. Uh, 16 is the DC. You... Um, Watch as your what did you cast Shillelagh on? Uh, my quarter staff. Your quarter staff. You had it in in one hand. I'm guessing you had your shield in the yeah. other. Yeah. Okay. Um, roll me and roll me any any number, any d6. On an even, it's your shield. On an odd, it's your odd. So the hand that's holding the quarter staff, you look and you watch as the staff falls through the thumb as your flesh becomes this dripping mass of just chaotic goo. Um, You can no longer hold anything in that hand. 
you cannot cast spells that require somatic components. Um, uh, what is is that considered like having my mind read nope. or charmed? Nope. No. Okay. It is it is melting your flesh. Oh, it's literally melting your yeah. flesh. Yeah. It oh, literally okay. turns your flesh oh into God. a lumpy bit of useless mass. You get to repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> not a fan either. <laughs> yeah. The Alhoun, who was uh, brought to us by Terran Wookie. Oh, you, Terran, wow. this is you. This is okay. you. did this. Well, you, he did. He uh, did do this. <laughs> um, we will have going words, to my friend. Step, uh, those guys have come through the door, except for the afraid ones. They can't get through the door. Um, and the upside down. And the upside down one. Yeah, but uh, there's only one of the beefy guys has come through the door. Mm-hmm. The other two physically can't because they can't come closer to you. Correct. The other guy came through the door. He's upside down. And now the mind flayer, Yalhun, steps through the door. And he is going to turn his attention to catch everyone except for you. Because um, I'm it, in the earth. That is true. In a 60-foot cone. Fun. Very wide. Uh, same as, as yours. I need all of you to make intelligence saving throws. Oh, I'm glad I'm up. Not 20. DC of 16. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> 17. So that's a 28, but I got a net 20. So. 24. 24. Four. Four. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Seven. Uh, you guys have experienced the mind blast Fun. of the mind flare. Everyone that failed is going to take 22 points of psychic damage. Oh. And you are stunned for one minute. At the end of your turn, you may repeat the saving throw. It is a DC of 16. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jeez. Um, queen, Jack, 10. 10. 10. I'm going to try that saving throw to not be stunned anymore. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Hey, ah. 16 exactly. Hey. Friendly with plus 117. There so you I'm go. No longer stunned. So, all right. right. Guthrie, you turn. shake it off. You feel yeah. this screen hit your head and your eyes sort of roll back. Your ears are ringing. You're maybe going to fall out, and then you sort of, uh, uh, and you snap back to reality. You're not sure if that's a better thing or a worse right, thing, exactly. but, but, but at least, you're back. At least the screaming is gone. Yeah, so the that's screaming upside, is I gone. Guess. All right. Uh, 10, 9, 8, nine. 9, Bobar. Does this thing obviously look undead now that it's walked in closer, and yeah. it's like, it's it's gone. It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm casting, uh, what can I get in a five-foot-wide uh, like beam of light. Can I you get? you could catch his bodyguard. Well, the so there's the one guy right in front of you. Okay. If you shift just a little bit, you can catch the guy that ran up to mace you in the face. Yeah. And the Alhoun and the mind player. Cool. I'm, you can I'm, catch both of them. I'm catching those guys and I'm yeah. casting sunbeam. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sixty foot line. Uh, they need to make con saves. Okay. Uh, DC uh, 17. Okay. So for his bodyguard, that is a natural 18 <sighs> plus 5. Yep. Uh, he has, um, the Alhoun has resistance to magic. And natural 18 plus 7, 25. Um, but okay. they do still take damage, I believe. Yeah, and it says undead have disadvantage on this saving throw. I did not know uh-huh. that. So it would have been a flat roll. Yes. Uh, so let's... Let's just do it again. You got it. Uh, 12 plus 7, 19. Okay. Yeah. So, so still they, half. They all make it. But... Yeah. Thank you for telling me that. Um, the Alhoun, the Mind Flayer, Sorry. has advantage against being turned and advantage against oh. magic. Got it. I will go ahead and let you guys know that. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, 16 uh, points of damage. Okay. Yeah. And they both take half. Oh, no, that was... I oh, just you are, oh, you rolled, rolled half? Eight. I can just roll that again. Roll so, it uh, 16 plus another 16. Oh, so 32. 32. 32. So they, so they take 16, 16 points 16. of radiant damage. You were right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, sir. Yes. Okay. Um, 16. Yes, you can. Yes. Five, and that was my guy that ran forward. So that is... Haha, I can do math. Yay. Okay. Uh, you were on a nine, eight, seven, six, seven. Okay. Um, so so I've got bodyguard in front of me. I've got 
There's another guy before the Elhim. You're stunned. Oh, I'm so sad. I have to make my turn. Yeah. Nope, I didn't have my. Okay. Too. I apologize. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Seven, six, five. 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 Nope. Okay. Uh, anybody left? New round. Okay. 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 I'm gonna start splitting up my Alhoon and my guards because that was just too much <laughs> together. So it sure was. Up top, ace, <laughs> king, queen, jack. Yo. Um, with the knowledge that you told us that the Alhoon is resistant to magical weapons, is that something our characters would have been? Aware you, of. you have not seen a magical weapon attack him. You have but we only, know that he's resistant you've seen, to magic. You've seen two spells come at him and him sort of resist and press against them. So would Rothgar be able to assume then that he was had some nature magical resistance? You're not raging yet? I'll say yes. Okay. So with that, he's then going to take out diplomacy. Okay. He's going to just put the mace down, take out diplomacy, and he is going to... Um, start uh frenzy raging. Okay. He is going to that's a bonus action. Mhm. He's going to use his action to continue the Do they get a save against the fear. They don't. They, they don't. The fear ends at the end of my turn unless I spend an action prolonging the fear. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm spending my action to prolong the fear. And your bonus action, you rage. Uh, rage. Frenzy rage. Okay. Um, that being said, I get a second attack. Can I take that attack? You only get the second attack if you take the attack action. All right. Uh, in that case, because uh, I need to get attacked to keep raging. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to literally fly down. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, fly down just right in front of uh, the two, the feared ones, the feared ones, because they only have to attack me. It doesn't have to hit. I just have Correct. to get attacked. They just, yeah. Oh, in that case, I'm getting down just like right in the middle, but specifically in front of the two, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to be like, "Come get me." Okay, and they intend to. Jack. I'm still Jack. Uh, yeah. Do I get to roll again? You do. Okay. Good. Keep rolling. Um, uh, 18, right? Yes. 17 plus one, 18. Yeah, it's enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for me, right? That is it. Like I got but still. Yep. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, Jack, 10. Nine. 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 Miku. So am I making a wisdom saving throw? Did you... You weren't... Oh, well, for your hand. Yeah. That's at the end of your turn. Okay. Um, I can't cast anything with somatic. Correct. That's like everything. Yeah, you lack a hand right now. <laughs> yeah. Can I... <laughs> Can I just make the save? Because pretty much everything I can do involves like I, yeah, I don't have like anything that doesn't have somatic, basically. Sure. I mean it it is totally up to you. You can I, also you, move. You can move. Yeah, I would I mean I would I like to move. I don't know if you want to wild shape or move. Well, I but I could would I make the saving throw in wild shape though? Because I was going to do that, but you can. Oh, yeah. well then I'm gonna turn into <laughs> a No, I don't. I want to do Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> if I could, um, into a what giant a eagle. Okay, giant eagle. Yeah. yeah, I will say that part of your ta one of your talons, one of your claw, like your your one leg eagle right now. <laughs> it's better that than being one wing. It's true. Yeah, yeah. So, it's true. God knows. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> That's what is it? Intelligence or wisdom? Wisdom. That is a nineteen. Okay. Okay. Nineteen. Yeah, you're. Whoa. You get your arm back. Did you want to do anything um, as an eagle? Yeah, I. At the, that happens at the end of your turn, obviously. Yeah, um, before that, I want to. There's there's that piece of shit thing, and then there's the four guard guard guys. Uh huh. Um, that all get attacks of opportunity because I don't have fly by. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack one of the which who is it called? Um, but he's nobody can do mind shit to me. But I'm an eagle. So, I'm just afraid of the mind flare. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to attack one of the, the beefy boys who okay. is... It's on. Is there one on Rothgar? There uh, are about to be a bunch on there, Rothgar. There are two next to Rothgar. One by Rovar. One hanging upside down. I'm going to attack the upside down one. Go for Hell it. Hell yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> 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 it's like a multi-attack, so... Beak. 
Well, it's probably not gonna hit. Um, that's a uh, eight. No, no, okay. That one misses. <laughs> so this one's gonna hit. Talons are um, 22. Okay. Okay. And then. That's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Mm-hmm. All right. mm-hmm. And I'm going to flap back out of the way, up in the air. All right. He is going to make his attack against you. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. Uh, natural 20, natural 9 plus 7, 16? Yeah, 16 hits. Okay. 16 hits and... He deals uh, 12 points of damage. Okay. Um, you can, you feel a burst of cold uh, as the glow of the magical runes on the armor fade, um, fade out or dim a little bit. They're still up, actually. Um, so, yeah, half that damage is cold. Hmm. Okay. Um, Nine? Nine, yeah. Eight. Eight. Go for it. Um, so, in a 40-foot radius, uh huh. how much does that hit? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Okay, never mind that one. 40-foot um, radius is big. Yeah. Uh, I gotta and people are pretty clumped up near that door. Yeah, I'm going to save that one. Um. Well, in the meantime, I guess I'm just going to fire off uh, an Eldritch Blast okay. uh, at three of them. Okay. So. Da, 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 da. Which three are you targeting? Uh, I'm going to target the one that's upside down. Okay. You have uh, advantage against that. Yep. I am going to target uh, two of the other beefy boys. Okay. Got it. Um, it is a. Do I have to roll for each one or do it as each one? Okay. Roll for each one. Uh, so for the first one is a 24. Okay. That'll hit the one next to Rovar. Okay. The second one. Oh, oh. This has advantage. Okay. The second one is a 27. Hits. And the third one it has partial cover. Third one misses. Okay. So two of them. Yep. Uh, let's see. A D10 for each. Yep. Oh, here, I'll do it. I'm writing two. All right, uh, six, and the other one takes two. Okay, six and two. It's not plus nothing. No, it's a no. it's a one D10 for Eldritch Blast. It just oh, okay. no, there's no add. It's just you have to be a warlock to do or to yeah. start adding things stuff. up. Yeah. yeah. You get multiple attacks with it. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, eight is, as they have been named, the beefy boys. <laughs> uh, the one that is hanging upside down is going to spend his action cutting the snare. Um, yep. And he lands on his feet. Hmm. Good for him. Oh, all right. Very nimble. Yeah. He is. He's good. Okay. His name is actually Nimble. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's it's Nimble Boy. <laughs> nimble Boy. So it is going to be three six attacks against you okay. at disadvantage. Six. They're all oh, three of them are attacking me. Two of them are attacking you. They each got three attacks. Oh, well, you know, had, they can go. He had used one attack to uh melt her flesh. Oh, understood. Uh, that's I mean that's how it happens. Mm-hmm. But they are all with disadvantage. Yes, they are. So and the I first, get to keep my rage. The first two attacks miss. The guy's third attack is a natural 14. It's the lower, plus 7, 21. Okay, that does hit. So that's one hit. Um, so, uh, that attack misses. And now two more miss. And 15. Misses. Okay. So only one attack hits you. <laughs> that's a boy. Yeah, that's my part. There we go. You, just- you take <laughs> 11 points of... Well, I have to split it up for you, don't I? Yes. Uh, four points of slashing damage. Minus four slashing. So that reduces to two. Oh, that was... Okay, so plus two. There we go. Okay. And then it is... The other four is cold? Seven points of cold. Oh, that's that's another number. Yeah. Seven. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, because it was a total of 11. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, you're not resistant to cold damage, are you? No, I'm it's resistant to lightning. Bludgeoning, sl- slashing, and... Bludgeoning, slashing, piercing, and lightning. And lightning. Yep. So, this so their armor is what's giving them yeah. abilities. Yeah. Okay. That is one, two, guy upside down. Rovar. Three attacks. Con save for my dude right as he starts his turn. 14 plus 5, 19. Yep. Okay. okay. Three attacks. Not a disadvantage for once. Does that matter? Not really. 16. Yep. And 24 will hit. The yep. 11 will miss. Nice. Okay. Does cold damage matter to you? It does not. Okay. So that is 8, 11 plus uh, 13, 16. 16. 27 points of damage total. Got it. Get back. Okay. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five. Five. Go for it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I am going to move that beam of light again. Okay. Um, I should probably make a concentration check. Two. Three, two concentration checks yep. on that. Just to see if I maintain it. After. Both of those DC 10. None of them were higher than 20 individually. So. Okay. That's a 17 and a 10. 10 meets it. Okay, meets it, meets it, beats it. Beats it. perfect. You're good. Uh, I move the line straight down the center. Again, okay. Um, and we'll, catch the same two guys. Uh, yeah, I will catch catch those guys. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so they need to make uh, con saves again. All right. Alhoon on the con save is. A 14. He rolled low. And then the other guy is also a 14. So I guess both of them fail. Okay, both of them fail. So they're going to take 6d8 if I can borrow some. You D8 sure can. Uh, and cool. they are both blinded. How many d8? Okay. Uh, by this spell. Oh, uh, this is radiant damage. So that's perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, guys. Yep. Oh, there's uh, seven and eight in there. That's hey, good. Yeah. So nice. uh, <laughs> 31 points of radiant damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Through. And then the guy that was right in front of you that just wailed on you <laughs> with that with that falls out dead. And you see his um his flesh you, rapidly decay. And you see sort of this ethereal smoke sort of um, burning off of him. Hmm. That is awesome. Uh, and I will do a healing word on Kef um, at level five for okay. my... Uh, what, was, what level is Sunbeam? Sunbeam is six, but I'm not casting it because I'm maintaining it. Is it recasting it or maintaining it as well? It's maintaining it. Okay. Um, I will... I'll give you a level one yeah. uh, for maintaining. Level one healing word on Kef. Um, as I good. see her. I hadn't thought about that with our with our casting rule. No, no, no worries. This yeah. is a, this is good. Rather to come up with it now, run into it now. Well, actually, you know what? By the rules, rules as written, you could cast level five. So go for it. Okay, I'll allow it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The kind I- and merciful. Yeah. No, <laughs> the idea is to be more fun, not less fun. Yeah. Sure. So Kef, I. Uh, 17 points of healing as nice. I need to competing in the thing. Okay, and that is my turn. Okay, Alhoon. Um, you you see his his eyes are sort of milky white anyway. Um, so he is blinded, but he does have true sight. Oh, good. 220 feet. That's okay. Yeah. It's worth a shot. It's he yeah, he reads about. people by their mind holes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. By the brains. Um, mine is covered in a friendly rage. <laughs> I can't have my mind read. My right, God. but he can still perceive that you have thoughts. Quick, nobody think of anything. It's a <laughs> Ghostbuster situation. <laughs> Stay puff more. Clear, Stay puff more. You got it. <laughs> Um, oh, let's see if he gets that back. No. Okay. 
So let's cast something, shall we? Why not? Or it's a, or it's an or, <laughs> uh, stay with me. No. I will I will choose at random. We're gonna roll a D6. Oh good. One. Keth. I need you to make a it's it's gonna be either dexterity or constitution. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> he summons the helicopter. gun. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he turns Four into boats. a helicopter. <laughs> he summoned Howl's helicopter. Helicopter's intelligence fourteen. Right. <laughs> Funny yeah. 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 yeah, much didn't, like didn't a T-Rex. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Big brain. Dex save. Uh, uh, DC of sixteen. Oh, oh, no. oh. Um. Okay. How many hit points do you have? Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's not, not a question. Answer. No. I don't like that question. 52? <laughs> okay. You got a chance. Thank you. I would yeah. probably be dead right now if it weren't for you. No. Nah. Wait. Like, dead? Dead? How many, what are you rolling? We'll find out. The <laughs> molders have that, what is it, last scene? Purple, I don't know. Seven. This is a mind player. But this, yeah, is, this a, is a magical mind player. Yeah. Like, it's casting spells. Like, I don't like this at all. It feels, it feels like too many dice. dice. It feels oh, like too many. Why are, you, oh, no. are moving, why are you removing the screen? Oh. Because he wants us to see That's it. not good. He wants so, us to watch. You sick is, bastard. <laughs> it is uh, dexterity saving throw, DC of 16 for the Alp Moon. Rules as written on a failed saving ben luck, throw. Two points. Ben luck, two point sorcery points. I get a saving throw. Uh, uh, 1d4 bonus on penalty to a creature's attack ability check or saving throw. Say it again. Okay. It's another yep. creature. Okay. Does it... It's only another creature. Ben luck. Um, uh, uh, mm, mm, hang on. I'm looking at Ben luck. Let's find out. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is important. Frantic searching. This is features. Features and traits. I'm sorry. My brain's not working. No, you're good. Um, um, ben Luck, when another creature you can see, another creature, never mind, makes an attack roll, an ability check, or a saving throw. Oh, maybe I can use it on him. You can use your reaction, and it's a reaction, and spend two sorcery points to roll 1d4 and apply the number rolled as a bonus or penalty, your choice, to the creature's roll. Yeah, it's roll just, it's just, uh, yeah. And it's another creature you can see. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah. A thin green ray oh, springs forth from the fingertip. Um, Is it about the fingertip? No. It's not. No, it's mm-hmm. not. There's, There's a lot of one. ones. There's a lot of love. Actually, oh, that, yeah, mind. I apologize. You are, I will do it, but you are not surviving. So that is 10, 20, 30. 40. Plus. 40. 40 plus 40. Force damage. This is disintegrate. Oh, yeah. That's me. Um, the target can be a creature, an object, or a creation of magical force. Uh, a creature targeted by the spell must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes 10d6 plus 40 force damage. Yeah, that is If it. this damage reduces the target to zero hit points, it is disintegrated. So not even, a disintegrated not even like dead, creature dead. and everything it's wearing and carrying, except magic items, are reduced to a pile of fine dust. The creature can be restored to life only by means of a true resurrection or a wish spell. And there's no way that like I could jump there's in front no of this or this. like nope. like. I um rule of cool here. Like no. I, you're not gonna disintegrate yourself. No. I I wouldn't. No. I if 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 you would like to make a case to try to save Keth, I will allow I will hear it. I I will say I will say that I just cast healing word on her, so keeping okay. her alive was was the last thought that I had before this disintegration okay. went off. So my focus is 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 on her at the moment. So I would probably be watching her as I healed and then this thing okay. went off. We are getting help from the chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tides of Chaos. 
read read to me what tides of chaos does yeah i just i just got that it should too. give you advantage it's what they are it's telling a, me. oh my gosh once for long rest you gain advantage uh, advantage on one attack roll ability check or, or saving, saving throw. throw before you regain use of this feature the dm can have you roll in the wild magic search table saving throw. after you cast <gasps> absolutely i forgot about I, this is my first sorcerer okay so do it do that roll that roll that oh god go for it Good. Okay. I'm sorry, Fen. You're good. Um, and I can't use a source trick, I guess just on the state. Okay, it was a 16 on the die. Uh, so plus it's plus three. Plus Dex is plus three. 17. So, 19. so you say. So 16 and 19. <gasps> oh, <thank God. laughs> you did 19. You got a 16 plus three, 19. Okay, who in the chat do I need to like? Fen. Fen! Uh, I believe so. Gulliver asks us if that is Oh my Christ. Christ. There you go. Look, we already met two gods of death in the day. We don't need to re meet them anytime soon. What do we say to the god of death? Not, Not today, today, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Ruby rolls really well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. It depends which god well of death. Well done, what, chat. What do we say to the god of death? Oh. Which oh. god of death? <laughs> You're going to have to be more specific. Okay. So yeah, no, no, no. I'm okay. Gonna... Just give her a second. <laughs> <laughs> well Holy Jesus. So she only takes uh, 80. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40 is still alive. 40 is alive. So is this thing not affected alive. by magic at all? This, what, say what? Is this thing not affected by magic at all? Oh, it's, it is. It's been hit it's by just, magic it's just, multiple times. It's, it's just yeah. it's resistant. It's resistant. Okay. Yeah. It's resistant to magic. Well done. Fen, you are wonderful. Well Thank, done, you guys. Guys. Thank you, Fen. Thank you, Fen. Um... The of day is not to be in the chat. Okay. Uh, that is the turn of the Alphoon. <laughs> and uh, we're going to need a Let's, you know what? Let's take a break. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. He's kidding. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm good. You want to keep going? I'm no, no. As in like, okay. I'm good for a break. Yeah, we want to keep going. Break. Let's take 10. Okay. Yeah. Let's take 10. That's very okay. near death experience. You guys are into a lot of stuff. <laughs> we'll gift, gift him and our gift for Fen is a great guy. Uh, he's a great fan of ours. He's yeah. only a patron. Yeah, okay. he's a patron. Jesus. So we, we love Fen. And my best friend now. Yeah. Sorry. So we will, we will see you guys <laughs> in 10 minutes, a sharp 10. Uh, so 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, we're going to come back, finish this fight. Uh, until then, stay tuned. Thank you. Everyone, we are Random Encounter Productions. I'm Cody Stone. With me tonight, we have... Cassandra playing Miku and Tempest, the Arctic Druid Air Genasi. <laughs> Eric playing Hrothgar Brittledorn, uh, the Dragonborn Barbarian Gentleman. Justin playing Guthrie, the Half Elf Bard Gunslinger. Ruby, uh, the Christine, I'm Christine. I'm playing Ruby, <laughs> the Halfling Death Cleric. William playing Rovar, the Circle of the Spores Druid and former best friend to Trinity. <laughs> 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 oh. Playing Beth by He's the skin of her teeth. What else, sorcerer? Just barely. Who's still alive? Yeah. Still here. Who's still, still alive? Who is still here? All right, guys. Uh, when last we left off, you guys were in uh, combat with some guards of Dreadhold who had brought an Alhoon, an undead mind flayer, uh, sorcerer, magician, wizard, something. Mm -hmm. uh, looks, we'll, we'll, we can discuss, yeah, an asshole. <laughs> and uh, you only through tides of chaos had Keth been able to survive the disintegration ray. That was on a, um, oh, there was a question about your dice boxes. Who made those? Oh. Yeah. We, uh, we have a show that we like to do. Uh, we did a family-friendly uh, D&D game that was, we kind of kept it PG, but it was a bunch of Loxodons. Uh, oh, nice. That, uh, at, at, at that fight evil clowns at, at circuses around the country as they've escaped from the circus themselves. Yeah. One of our players there lives very far away in the distant land of Utah and uh, and came down to visit us and he made these. Uh, That's amazing. Uh, so made, uh, uh, we have uh, the only dice box I think in the world with, with, a, cockroach. with a cockroach. Because One of, of my characters is a druid and her big thing is turning into cockroaches. They're hmm. very useful. Yeah. <laughs> I played a very stuffy British rogue uh, well, and so this is my little self. Yeah. That is tremendous. Uh, he is they are yes, very they're gorgeous. Talented. They yeah. actually we I carry like our them. dice on the oh, plane. Oh wow! Uh, nice. Store the dice on the bottom. Dang. Ooh. 
That's craftsmanship. Very fancy. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, let's get into it. So the Alhoun was on a five. Um, and it died. Weird. And, ooh, still there. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Four. Yes. Uh, so I still have to. Yeah, Just okay. Yes. Um, I, I hesitate to ask this question because it might it. bite me in the butt. Okay. But do, because I use that, am I required to roll on the wild magic table? Um, not right now. Okay. Uh, I believe it now is open for us to utilize wild magic. Okay. And um, I was actually, oh, here's, here's the bite. Um, because Weejoss's other domain is magic, sure, and she had magically tampered with a door that was not her own, uh, I was actually planning on having all magic roll on the wild sorcerer table. It has not happened yet, but we will start to do that maybe next round. Okay. Yeah. Good to we'll know. We'll see. Hell not, yeah. not everybody. Thanks for asking. Oh, that was- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she was going to do it. It was something yeah. that was going to happen anyways. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm still stunned. So you are so. Oh. Save. And I'm stressed. Uh, not a. Sorry, Ruby. <laughs> okay. Anybody left? New round. We're all laughing to hide our I would love to heal you. We, we, we laugh through the pain. Yeah. That's what we do. That's work. And up top, Ace. Ace. Roll bar. Oh. Uh, I am going to run over to where Ruby is. Okay. And do I know enough about this? And I'm going to cast Greater Restoration to see if I can break through whatever sort it. of magic sure. is, is yeah. affecting her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a shot. Uh, so that will be, yeah. So Rogar runs over and sort of touches you and casts Greater Restoration. Okay, and does Greater Restoration remove uh, stun? Uh, let's, find, let's find out. One effect uh, charmed or petrified the target, one curse including the target's tumatory potential item, the reduction to one of the target's ability scores, one effect reducing the target's hit point maximum. Um, um, you can fix it exhaustion levels. Touch with positive energy to undo a debilitating effect. It's pretty yeah. uh, Lesser restoration removes paralyzed, and paralyzed, I believe, is nothing specifically removes stunned. Uh, <laughs> since it is greater, I will say yes. I'll allow. You <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, because Lester does blinded, deafened, uh, paralyzed, and poisoned. Stunned is very similar to paralyzed. Um, okay, great. Yeah, I'm good with it. Cool. Uh, Ace, King. I, I was Ace. Gosh, I hate being tight in Michigan. <laughs> I don't want to hit anything because if they hit me back, I die. Okay. Um, because it's it's the the beholder in front of me and the bodyguard is gone, right? There's, there's one guard dead. The other two, three are alive. Yeah, yes, the three other... are alive. One is in the door. He was the one that was held upside down. And yes. two are the other two are still on the other side of the door in the doorway, can... fighting, fighting okay. Rothgar. And there is the Alpha. Oh. Yeah. Oh gosh, because really good call, Taryn. Do is attack them, and then they're gonna attack me. That is the way of life. But I might as well. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, so let's do this then. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast um, Chaos Bolt. Yeah. But I am going to cast it at a third level, which means I get an extra. Oh, can I borrow an extra D6? That means I get three D6 on it. Nice. Okay. Um, and. That D8 is going to be the one that determines what the damage is. Uh, the, oh, it's to hit. It's a hit. Who are you targeting? Oh, the, the the one right in front of me. The It's the bodyguard that's hanging right in front of me. It doesn't matter because it doesn't hit anyone. Okay, bodyguard. So it's a 13. A, thir- I doubt a 13 does miss yeah. him. So. Yeah. Um, but what, el- what, um, what type of damage is that? Oh, I didn't even roll for it. Oh, because it's it depends on what I roll. 
like once I roll the two d8s that are part of it, one of those d8s will determine the damage. Oh, well, do that for me, please. Okay. Um, it would have been acid damage. Acid damage. So you see the blue ruins over that guy's armor begin to shift into a brighter green. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Ace, King, Queen, Jack. Jack. Got three. All right. Uh, let's hopefully do a little bit of thing. Um, ten foot radius. Okay. Uh, if I cast it on the Alhoon, mm-hmm. who else would that hit? Uh, no one is in melee with the Alhoon. Uh, and the guard that got snared is on the door, right? slightly to the side. So just him. Okay. Uh, what about if I hit? What if I focus it on the one in the door? Uh, you could catch Rothgar and one other guy. You're good with constitution saves, right? Yeah, I get a plus eight to con saves. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, I haul out my citern. Uh, I strum a incredibly discordant chord on it. Yeah, power chord. Yeah, power chord, and I cast Shatter at a fifth level. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Excuse me. Sorry, there's something in my throat. That's yeah. all. <laughs> uh, so, uh... The three beefy boys, the remaining beefy boys, and Rothgar need to make constitution saving throws. Okay. Um. Oh, 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 you beautiful dice. <clears throat> so, Sorry. the one um, that had been hanging upside down fails. He rolled a 11. Yep, does not do it. Uh, the next highest one is a 16. Barely meets it. And then a 19. That one beats it. So, but they still, the, those other two are still going to take half. Yes, they are. I got 26. Okay. Good. Taking uh, half. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I just need, I need two more D8s. Oh, one more D8. Uh, take my dice. They roll low. Says you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Okay, only, only one eight in there. Um, let's see. So that's 10. That's... All right, so 22, so the people taking half take 11. Okay. And the ones that fail take 22. Yep. So uh, that you see the shattering wave of force bursts through the door. It echoes through Rothgar, through the other two, and their uh, heavy armor. You can see the armor of the guy that had been green now glowing a bright white. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is barely alive. He is, he is, you can see the ethereal sort of smoke already beginning to beat off of him. Mm-hmm. He is way past bloodied. Um, Jack. Yep. Ten. 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 Go for it, guys. Okay. So we have, we have this asshole thingy. We've got three guards. Mm-hmm. Um, I am. Barely alive. Yeah. Guards are barely alive. I'm going to, I want to keep up. Yeah, I do. Uh, which one looks the worst? Uh, the the guy that just got shattered. Smoking. One of the guards is barely alive. I'm going to swoop down and go after Shatterboy. Okay. 13? Uh, negative. That is a 20 to hit. <laughs> that misses too. <laughs> okay. Don't look at me like I didn't write it out of the book. Like I made it up. Are you guys close? Let me check. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, he is going to use his um, reaction to burn the absorb elemental energy out of his absorption armor. Any of these guys within 10 feet of me, by chance, me and Ruby? No. No. Because the, the one that had been able to advance at all, you guys had ki- you we killed with the sun. Yeah. yeah. So, so no, they're not. I need a deck save uh, from you, DC 14. And he has... Am I using the eagle stacks, right? Yes. Yep. 18. 18 saves, so you're going to take half. Yeah. So it is 2d8 force damage, 2d8 acid damage, and he had already made one ice attack, so 1d8 cold damage. 
um, 10, 17, halved to 9. Oh, I'm still in eagle for Nine points of damage. There you go. That's the done. Cool, cool. Anything else, Niku? Uh, but he did that as a reaction? Yeah. So you can back away from him. Oh, yeah. Taking I'm, an attack. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to fly back up. Okay. Yeah, you back up. You, you flap the wings. <laughs> like, Never mind. Back. You can see his armor now is no longer glowing. All of that That's energy good. gets expended. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at the two beefy boys, and I'm just literally going to point and say, Stay here! And I'm going to turn to attack um, mm-hmm. the one who you just attacked. Yeah, absolutely. With my bonus. I'm using my action to continue the okay. fear on them, okay. and my bonus action to attack. Got it. Uh, seven plus, so that'd be 16 to hit. 16 misses. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, he's bringing his mace up, just barely batting away uh, the morning star that you're... No, uh, that you're, diplomacy. The diplomacy that yeah. you're swinging at him. Because the magic, mm-hmm. I put the mace away. Okay. Yeah, yeah yes. it was made for me. Uh, okay. Ten. Nine. Oh, ten. Alhoon. Yes. Um... He and did his six level slot. Uh, that one does no good. Um, ooh. Don't do that. <laughs> why yeah. would you? Why would you? Ooh. Oh, sorry. There was something I wanted to ask. Please is go Rothgar saw uh, when Beefy Boy got uh, melted. Mm-hmm. Um, what happened to the ethereal type chains that he was holding, or were attached to him? Uh, the chains remain around the album. They're just nothing holding them. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. He, he does remain out there. Um, Was James made out of metal or are they... They're ethereal. They're pure magic. So they're pure magic. Yeah, okay. pure magic. Um, oh, I don't think we want to free it, though. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't want to free it. I'm going to grab it. Oh, see it. Oh. Oh. Can I put a land down? <laughs> Seven and what I drop in? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you get like <laughs> this is like being in a like watching a horror movie and just waiting for the shit to happen where we're just like just do it <laughs> like me watching Annabelle yesterday that was it was actually really good yeah <laughs> um yeah I don't oh you know what yeah Let's just get a good old classic going. Oh no. Shall we? Yeah. Or um, no one is in <laughs> counter. No one is in melee with Yalhoon, if I am not mistaken. That's correct. 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 He is going to take off running further in the room, off to one side. He is going to line up oh, no. uh at least two of you. Let's see if he can get a third. Give him a little chance here. Give me the dice. Give me the dice. Yeah, you three. Um, Because you guys are kind of in the back anyway. So he kind of circles up around. You can see the lightning arcing between his hands. He uh, comes to the side, and you can see it bubble off of his uh, his tentacles. And he casts lightning bolt. So I need dex save, dex save, dex save. Nat 20. <laughs> 20. Nice. 20 total. He is casting it at fifth level. Sure he is. Absolutely. So you save, you save. 14. 16. Yeah. Um, and I will use the dice roller on that. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's 12d6. 12d8. Oh, Still not great. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah. It's a, it's a very, it's a very uh, short-lived celebration when you realize eight. that. Uh, oh, 10. 10 d6. Oh, okay. Only Just 10. Oh, 10. thank God. Okay, I'm fine. Never mind. I'm not worried. You guys saw me roll 10 d6 earlier. Yeah, yeah and it, yeah, and it, it yeah, plus 40. It was... <laughs> like the, 10 oh, six, the 10 d6 wasn't the entirely scary part of it. It was the second half. Yeah, exactly. So the, the 10 d6 was not... And these six is nothing to worry about. <laughs> that is uh, 34 points of lightning damage. If so, you succeeded, okay. have to 17. Uh, 17. What is the con save here for the Sunbeam spell? Uh, 10. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's half the damage or 10. Yeah. So, 
There you go. Uh, that is it for the owl hoon. Still stand. Um, 10, well, 9, still stand. 8, 7, 7. seven. Hi, Ruby, hi. welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be back. Been away for a minute. Uh, yeah, I think Kath probably still looks the worst. So I'm going to go run over to Kath. <laughs> okay. And cast heal. Um, and you get 70 hit points. Oh. Gosh, well, that's more than enough. I've got some to spare. Yay! <laughs> I wish it worked that I'll way. Take a few. <laughs> That'd be great. I'll take a few. Yeah. I got a bad plan. <laughs> oh, that. no. Oh, that. yes. Oh, God. Anything else, really? Uh, bonus action, spiritual weapon. Okay. And can I attack? What well, level is heal? Oh, it's six. Never mind. Never mind. So oh, sorry. Um, you were on a seven? Yes. Six. Six is the beefy boys. Um, so those guys come at me, beefy. Uh, oh, the one of them is not afraid of you. No, let him attack. Yeah, he, he is going to attack you with all three. His weapon and armors are not charged, however. Um, so natural no. 20, uh, 21, and a 13 modified. Uh, so I'm guessing two of those hit. Yeah, two hit. Okay. So. That is 8 plus 3, 11 on the crit, and 7 on the regular attack. So 6 points and 4 points, 10 total. 10 total. 10 total. Oh, the other nothing. two guys are going to, one of them is going to hurl a javelin up at Miku, who is flying. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They just... Away. They can't come closer. Oh, that's look, right. Yeah, they can, yeah. like peek through the door and hurl something. Okay. They can't. They can't run up and attack you. Um, sixteen against the eagle, Miku. A dex. No, no, no. To hit. Oh, to hit. Yes. Okay. Uh, and he has some cold on him, so that is eleven plus three, fourteen points of damage. Mm -hmm. I'm out of eagle form. Out of eagle form. Mm -hmm. Um, how high up did you fly? Probably like 30 feet. I'd say like 20. Okay. Make a dex, uh, make an acrobatics check for me. What was acrobatics? Oh, 21. 21? Yeah. You take two points of fall damage. Okay. And then the other, uh, javelin attack is going to get hurled at... Guthrie, or no, um, Rothgar. Rothgar. Uh, natural 17, natural 18. So even with disadvantage, he is going to hit. Mm. Plus seven. Oh, 24. yeah, okay, maybe. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, Fine. I usually just read the dice. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah. So that is um, seven points of piercing damage reduced to four, then four points of cold damage. Total of eight. Minus four. And then another four. Correct. All right. Cool. That is it for my beefy boys. Uh, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. The beefarones. Up top, ace. 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 Do it. What's your dex? Uh, mine is, I think, plus four. You got it. Then it's yours. You're yep, up, it's All right. Uh, seeing the Alhoon kind of hitting me with like a lightning bolt. Yeah. Big old lightning bolt. All right, good. Old school. Keeping it that way. All right. Well, let's go him. I'm going to focus on him and hit him with all three forks of a Eldritch Blast. Nice. nice. Do it. A 20, not natural. Does hit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was like, is his AC? Oh, okay. Uh, so that's 17 total. Did you roll three attacks? I did. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 three attacks? No. Yeah, because it's right, right, Eldritch right. Blast every it's, attack. Yeah, every okay, so the, the first one was an unmodified 20. Yep. Second one is a t above a 20. Yep. AC of 15. The third one is an 18. Good. So. Yep, and 17 points of damage. Yes. You said. Nice. Okay, yeah, he's, yeah, he's not in the perk great. As I'm doing, <laughs> that's what it is. It's bang, bang, bang. Well done. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Ace. Miku. 
So non-magic weapons can't hurt the Elhun? No, no one's hit him with a weapon yet. It's true. No, oh, no one's a melee. No, no one has meleeed the Elhun. No, we've all just. You guys have no idea. You've cast a couple of spells at him. It has hurt him. Okay. But you have seen he is tougher to hurt with magic than with than a normal person. I'll yeah. do that later. We need some more people on the field. Oh. I'm gonna. It's snake time. Yes. Yes. Snakes. Yes. Snakes. Sneaky boys. Snakes. So I'm casting my my eight sneaky boys. I need you to make a spell casting check. What? So roll a d20 okay. and add your wisdom. My wisdom saving or just No, just wisdom? flat wisdom. Same way oh. you would do a counter spell or a dispel magic. 14. 14. Um, <clears throat> you go to prepare the summon and just as you do it the runes of the castle break the spell from your hands. The prison prevents things from being summoned into mm. it because it holds right. it holds Same. many spellcasters mm -hmm. that could leave or do other things if they could tr travel through planes, if they mm. could summon other creatures. So there are certain magic spells that simply... Uh, the cat prison itself is warded against. However, uh, while well, that I will say that spell slot is lost, but you can cast another spell Ooh, okay. as uh, that way because you didn't know. So I'm, okay. I'm gonna allow you to. Which of the guards looks the best? Um, the you can oh the one that threw the javelin at you and took you out of eagle form. That motherfucker. That motherfucker. I'm gonna cast blight on him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> blight <Can't> works. Save. <laughs> Can't save. Yeah. Uh, that's an equal response. <laughs> uh, 13. Nope. Can I have one more deal? Mm -hmm. You may be not a bird anymore. <laughs> I will suck the moisture you from your body. Yeah, I'm going to eat you. You're going to die, obviously. No. Baloney. Oh, that's okay. No, but mine gave away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know. So rude. <laughs> 31 points of necrotic damage. He falls out dead. And I want to make sure I say this. I grab him by his fucking head and oh, cast so it. you're going to go move to him? No, I'm not. Okay. Just kidding. I <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> you. No, no. I want to. Nope. Okay. I sit up from the ground and. and you imagine grabbing I imagine his head. from here grabbing she, his She head. makes grabbing hands. I make grabbing head, hands like at a distance. Right yes. That I'm is, at a. That it, you you <laughs> crush your head. Yeah. <laughs> I go. <laughs> well done. Oh, and I crush his head. <laughs> All right. Still Ace. not a tempest level. But... King. Yo. Go for it. Um, seeing that one beefy boy is real bad mm -hmm. and the other beefy boy is afraid of me, and right now we have a much bigger threat, mm -hmm. I'm going to look at all of you and say, clean up the mess. And my wings are going to, and I'm going to fly. How far away is the, uh, is the dude? I'll do 40 mm -hmm. feet. 40 feet. Cool. I'm going to fly uh, 10 feet in the air mm -hmm. up and then 40 feet over because my wings have a speed of 60. Yeah. And I'm going to get right in front of them. Okay. Um, I can still reach them from where I am, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, pull out diplomacy and so I'm going. Five, you're five feet off. Sorry, ground. five feet off the ground. I just want to be like, I got you. Like speeder across yeah. the ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right up to them. And I'm going to make uh, three reckless attacks against him with diplomacy. Okay. Three reckless attacks against him Ooh. with diplomacy. Absolutely. Hmm. Okay, so the first one is a 19 plus whatever, uh, Ooh, plus, okay. uh, plus eight. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> All right, so that's the first. Do I? Do you want me to roll damage each time or just roll the three attacks? Uh, it's up to you. I'll Check roll the three one. attacks. Okay. Uh, the next is 16 plus, na uh, plus eight. Okay. So that hits because he has 15. Yep. Yeah. And then the third is, um, there we go, 18 plus, uh, 10 plus 18, 10 plus 8, so 18. 10 so, plus 8 for 18, he will cast shield to negate the third attack. Okay. Um, in that case, could I get a d6 from somebody? Thank you. Oh, that is shiny. Oh, shiny. Uh, okay. There we go. So that's uh, uh, 5, 5, 10, 16 plus 4 plus 4. So that's 
24. 24. 24 points of he damage. He takes 24 points. Okay. Wow. That hurts. By the way, I rolled and I succeeded. With it. So. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> um, anything else, Rothgar? Uh, no, that was movement, attack, and bonus. Okay. Um, the other guy is not afraid anymore. Is not fear anymore. Got it. Um, King, queen. Queen. Um, What's your dex, Ruby? Uh, I don't know. Plus one. Plus one? Roll a d20 for me. Okay. 18. You go first. Okay. Um, I want to cast Reaper's Beacon. Okay. And then uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word at 5th level. So everyone gets 17. What level is Reaper's Beacon? Oh, darn it. Mm -hmm. I forget about that. Um, It's 3rd. So I'll cast it at, I mean, I'll cast Reaper's Beacon, then I'll cast Mass Healing Word at 3rd level. Okay. Right? I can do that right. You can. Yes. Three plus three is six. So we each get nine back. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, nine. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have to? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Downcast. Downcast what? Upcast what? Wait. No. I only have one third level slot left. So you can cast Reaper's Beacon, and then you can cast a second or a first level spell. Turn it. Minus in that nine. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Don't worry you about it. You're, yes. you're doing a great job. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so second level mass healing word is. There is no such thing as a second level. Mass oh yeah, healing it's word. third level. Just healing word. Oh. Well, can I downcast one of them? Mm, nope. No. No. Okay. They have minimums. Okay. Then I'll cast Healing Word. I think you're in the worst shape right now. Me? I think so. Oh, no, no, I can take a beating. Okay. Yeah. No, okay, well, there's a bloody. Wait, so did that not just happen? Yeah, not not. Yeah, yeah they, no. get the, they, get, they get the... Who's looking rough? Uh, I look terrible. I mean, I'm at... Maybe you. You look yeah. rough. You were Guthrie. I'm, I'm at below half my health. Okay. So, I, 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 I could... I could I could take a non-disintegration attack sure. if I can half it. Sure. Give it to Guthrie. Give it to okay. me. Yeah. Yes. There cool. So kind then yeah. healing word at second level is 13. Thank you. Yes. There you go. Uh, queen, Jack, 10. 10. Go for it. Okay, that uh, that that mind player upset me. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yes, he did. So yeah, a lot. So um, I am going to cast immolation. Okay. At him. Okay. Uh, however, I am going to use uh, sorcery points to make it a heightened spell. Okay. So that he gets disadvantage on his saving throw. So it'll be a flat roll for him. Um, which is a con save, or sorry, a dex save of seventeen. Ooh, dex save. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, Fails. Hey, kill them. Kill them back. <laughs> oh, kill them oh, back. I still have to. Don't I have, no, I'm gonna no. try to roll the hit. Mm. Okay, I am also. Oh, that's eight. Eight. Uh. Uh. Shoot. Eight. 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 <laughs> uh, so that I can re-roll up to five of the dice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here, take the stone one. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more if you've got them. I got one more. Because it's fun to roll lots of dice. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Get him back. Get him back. Oh, right. there's couple of so things. I'm gonna keep that six. I'm gonna keep that six. Oh, okay. I like the sound of this. Yay. Um, we will re-roll the one, the two, and we'll re-roll the six. All right, that got us another. That did got us two more sixes. Queen? Sorry. I don't oh, think he did. I feel like he didn't. He did not. He did not. He did what? He, he didn't, didn't go. take his turn. I'm no, so no. sorry. No, you're this fine. I, okay. I no, 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 no. You right. keep your keep your damage. Okay. Um, six 
times five 30. is 30. 30. Uh, plus another six is going to be 36, plus one is 37. 37. Yeah. Okay. Before he blows up, uh, <laughs> there's no point in hiding that. He's, he's going to go boom. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to do that because that could potentially ruin that. I don't want. I don't want to go through that nonsense. So um, he did recover his mind blast. He's going to cast a spell instead because what's a mind flayer that can cast spells supposed to do? He's supposed to cast spells. Sure. I'm in melee with him. Do I get an attack? Do you have the mage killer feet? I I dreamed it. <laughs> <laughs> And he enjoys killing mages. Does that count? Yeah. The room two didn't. He counter-dreamed you. It was a good dream. It was a very good dream. Um, So here is what we are going to do. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep it simple. Um, We're just going to cast Fireball. Sure. We're going to catch everybody. Why not? Everybody give me a deck save. Can he catch me the in it? Lightning with, bolt. Yeah, he can put it right here. What was the lightning bolt from? That, so was, that, was, that was the that last was time. time. That was the, that was because the he had a low card, and then he flipped the gotcha. queen. We rolled for initiative. Right. You beat it, and then we just kept And I get advantage yeah. on deck saves. Mm-hmm. 17. Saves. DC of 16. I'm also resistant to that. Oh, 16 on the you dice. Do. So I get that. Yes. That's three saves. I actually rolled two sixteen. Oh, failure. Fail. Okay. All right. So, um, so exactly. That's if you hurt. well done. If you <laughs> failed, you take forty five points of fire damage. Oh wow! If you succeed, uh, you take twenty three. And if you succeed and you are resistant, you take twelve. Cool. I know you're still up. She's still up. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, hey. and, and the Alhoun falls down when he gets immolated. Yeah. Yeah. So. He gets burnt to ash That's easy good. and quick. Which is good because my reckless attacks now aren't going to fuck me over. <laughs> there you go. Hey, guys, guys, guess how many hit points I have? <laughs> no. How many? One. What number am I thinking of? 69. Nine. Hey. <laughs> nice. Well done, guys. Um, <sighs> So my apologies for getting out of order, but that is the end of the Alhoon. As the immolation, the fire raises up over him. It's a great smell of uh, no, it's a terrible smell. It's dead yeah. calamari. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say it was like ooh, calamari. like fried calamari. Yeah, no, so it's, it's yeah. burnt. It's burnt dead uh, calamari. <laughs> it's a terrible smell. Um, and then there is so it's just the two guards that are left. His robes drop to uh, drop to the floor. And it, rather than the spectral energy that has been coming off of the guards, you can see he just sort of turns into like fine um, dust, very much like he had been, and much of his clothes too, yeah. very much like he had been uh, cremated. Okay. Mm-hmm. We all just turn as one to the two beefy boys, like, yep. what up, friends? That was, you were on a 10. <laughs> yes. 10. Uh, they are on a 10 as well. Uh, so one of them is going to go chasing down. Rothgar, the one that he had left melee from. Uh, I don't. Can he reach me? Yeah. Okay. Because I went forty feet out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he can. Um, I mean, he can javelin. Toss he can him javelin you. Yeah. 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 All right. He will jab. No. Mm. If he's going to javelin, he might as well stay where he's at. Uh, so no, he is going to rush at. Remember, uh, yeah, he is going to javelin you. The dice say Bring so. Bring it. A nineteen hits. Okay, and that is thirteen points of damage, half to seven. Cool. And then the other one. Is no longer afraid. He can finally come in the room and <laughs> yeah. look around and be like, "What the hell is happening here?" All right. Uh, <laughs> mm, never mind. Uh, mm. um, they do not have that option, so he is going to. It's supposed to be here. He's going to run down uh, Miku with three attacks. I said something funny again. Uh, uh, Fine, I'll stop being funny. Fifteen. Nope. Nineteen. Nope. Twenty-four. Well. 
<laughs> Strangely, yes. Well, the 24 I knew. It was the others that were questioning. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to go, no. 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 Um, that is 14 points of um, slashing damage. Okay. Okay, that is it for them. 10, 9, 8, 7. 7. 7. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. How, how you doing? I'm good. I got some spell slots left. I'm... Uh, it was a it was a fun number, so I'm just gonna do it again. I'll just pick one of those guards and cast blight. Okay. Uh, so that is a con save. Na- uh, which one are you targeting? The one that looks terrible or the stronger one? Stronger one. Okay. Yeah. He rolls a natural twenty, so he does save. Okay. But still takes half damage. Uh, do you have a dice roller? Yeah. Do you, does anybody want to roll eight d eight on their dice roller? Absolutely. I got you. Like one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So, here you go. You push the button. Boop, boop, boop. Ah. 25. 23. 23. Yeah. 23. That works. Okay. Have to 12. Because he saved. If you would like to re-roll it, I am, no, no, I am no, no, willing that's good. to. Uh, and then I will just... I'll uh, tell you what. Is the dice roller... So- okay. I'll re-roll those, those first set of ones. 32. So it'll it'll 16. reduce to sixteen. Same. I'll take that sixteen. There you go. It's really satisfying to roll actually. Dice. Mm-hmm. It's right. like reading a book. Sometimes when candle. you have a lot of dice to roll. Yeah. 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 I I agree. It's only when I'm doing like big spells. I'm like I just I want to keep going for you guys. I don't I don't want to spend the time. Um, anything else, Rovar? I'll I'll turn invisible. Okay. Sure. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well. Okay. Sure. And just start uh ter- start walking up towards the guy that I just played in. Okay. Sounds good. Um seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, new round. Top ace. Yo. Um can I get in between them? With- they are not within five feet of each other. Okay. Um I'm going to. What is. How far away is the guy who threw the javelin at me? Uh, 20 feet. Okay, I'm going to fly to him. Great. And I'm going to. Reckless attack once. Okay. So that'll be 9 plus 8, 17. Misses. Armor of 20. Oh, these. Mm. They yeah. are beefy boys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Second reckless attack. There we go. 16 plus 8. So that's that will hit 24, yeah, 24. And minimum damage kills him. He only had one hit point. There nice. Yeah. That, that guy survived three rounds on that Man. one hit point. <laughs> he was sticking <laughs> with it. God bless him. Just and then I'm going to fly the other fly distance the to the distance go to yeah. the next guy and okay. use my bonus action attack on him. Go for it. Uh uh-uh. No. Misses. Ah. Okay. Ace. King. Queen. Jack. Jack. Miku, you got the higher decks. By the way, I rolled succeeded. Thank you. Um, and I'm also gonna cast blight again okay. on that guy who just attacked me. Okay. <laughs> so con save. Four blighted guys. Uh mm-hmm. natural 18 plus 5, 23. That's six. He'll take half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, an eight. Yeah. Okay. You did well today. Yes. Now comes the part where we all have to wait for Cassandra to do math. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make if there was some way I could make like a dice rolling like pad, like a digital pad where you could roll the physical dice, then it would add all the numbers. Oh, for that'd you. be awesome. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't yeah. that be kind of crazy? But then yeah. I wouldn't get better at math. No, it's true. 31. 31 halved to 16. Mm-hmm. That is showtime. Okay. Yes. Oh, boy. Would you like to hold his face now? Uh, is can. it gonna? He's dead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Put my hands on either side of his face and just say good night and just oh. blight and his brains go. Bleh. Um, <laughs> no bla- No brains come out. No, they don't. But um, I, I, I imagine in his head do. they just. Look yes. Fine. Yes. But he does. Uh, he does vaporize. Very satisfying. Yes. And you can feel sort of the cold tinge of odd death uh, creep over your hands as the necrotic energy fills through his body and um, 
and lays him out dead. I'm going to look over at Ruby and say, that one was for Weejas. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm down. Never mind. I can't say. <laughs> you're oh. down? But you're down? Yeah. Wait, wait. When did that happen? Oh, just like a minute I'm a ago. fireball. I'm yeah. Guessing. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Yeah. Oh, God. I would have run. <laughs> oh, sorry. And the only oh, excitement we've had to look over and chase Ruby's still up. We'll I knew it. it was almost over. How great is that, Ruby? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, then I'm going to. Well, we're done. Can I cast something? Yeah, I'm going to cast heal. Okay. Oh, yeah. 70. Oh, geez, thanks. There you go. Miku goes running over to cast heal. Um, Life and death, man. I got it. Yeah. Make investigation checks for me, please. Should I? Since I'm feeling. Really... Uh, yeah, go ahead. 12, 20, 19, 19, 19. 21. Three. Everybody but Robar. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, orange orange slices and tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> tank sandwiches, everybody. Tank. So these guys are wearing um they are wearing a plate mail. Um it is the plate of absorption. Um you guys make me arcana checks. Ooh, and that 20. Okay. Yeah. So Eleven. So that makes twenty-two with an it. Thank you. Fourteen. Okay. You can tell something about the armor. That, uh, right now, they they are cursed. Sure. Um, one of them does have the key emblem on them. Um, as you search through it, it is not. Um, doesn't look like you can pull it out. Looks like somebody has to put on. The cursed armor. I can remove curse. Okay. That, that's a good first step. Let's do that. Yeah. So, will that affect the key though? So. Oh yeah. With your because you rolled a natural twenty. Here's what I will tell you: remove curse will not help uh, the item before it's attuned to somebody. Somebody has to attune it. Okay. Remove curse will allow them to take it off. Uh, Does anybody uh, have heavy armor proficiency? That's a good question. People in the party do, not people necessarily at the table. Um, so you can go and get animus or there's there's plenty of uh, I mean if you want an NPC caliber can wear heavy armor um, or you have other or next time somebody comes back you're like by the way you're in cursed armor. Hey, what about the, mind, the minotaur guy? Rickin. Rickin. Rickin can wear it. Yeah, Is he, he willing to? Can we ask? Uh, I mean if you want you might have to convince him. Freaking buddy, if I got <laughs> deal of a lifetime for you. <laughs> do you notice? You, you see? Do you oversee some of that 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 skirmish just happened that was going down? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was. Uh, Here's the thing. You guys are great, by the way. Thank, thank you, you very much. The, 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 the words, I know. I'm just just as surprised as you are. Um, I say thank you and pop up something. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we were wondering if you might do us a quick a quick favor, and I do sincerely mean an actual quick favor. Uh huh. If you could just slip on this one piece of uh, the mail, the, uh-huh. the the armor that that some of these fellows are wearing, so that we can get through these doors. Uh-huh. Um, Ruby here, it's a little curse. I'm not I, I'm not gonna try to, to BS you on this one. You're a friend. I don't want to just try to trick you into anything. So I'm just letting you know, it is cursed. But oh, oh, yeah, but I... all we need to do is put it on so you can open the door, and then Ruby here will help you just flip that right off you, and we'll be fine. Open intelligence check first before you before you persuade him. Nine. <laughs> Anybody else want to make an intelligence yeah. check? Sure. Oop, well. Nope. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Okay. Robar. Um he's probably gonna need to wear it to the next room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you were you were there. Go for it. Yeah. Um I don't wanna Hey, first off, let's hug it because this <laughs> great job. Just support the way I felt it. Miku sprints uh, in for a hug. You're probably gonna have to wear it for. He's probably gonna have to wear it for a little bit. Oh, it's so like sixty feet. It's sixty the, feet. Well, I mean, into the mm, freaking. I'll give you a cookie. We get, we got a cookie. She's cookie. We're sweet in the pot cookies. here, Rickon. I uh, really go, <laughs> go and make your persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> Just for point of clarity, it is going to be seven hours before I can use the wings again. Good to know. Yeah. Thank you. Because it's 1d12. Well, it was a nat one. 
Uh, but plus 12, so it's a 13. Okay. And um, I'm going to bend luck. So, it's a so he gets an extra D4, because that was an ability check, right? It was. 1D4. Mm-hmm. All right. Go for it. So that's a 15 total. Okay. Hell yeah. He, he nat one as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Gotta work counts. So your um your terrible sales pitch <laughs> is only just better than living. Well, he's like, well, now that I can die here, I guess I should try to leave. Like, exactly. Now that you hey, now that you can die, you can truly live. That's what that's that's a that's yeah, a that's, that's a nugget of wisdom. Tough. That's a oh, nugget of wisdom beautiful. for you. And again. It's a hallway. Nothing bad happens in hallways. We're just going <laughs> to get into the end of one. I'm going to come forward once again and say it's probably a little past that. Into the It's barely past the hallway. <laughs> I said, we, literally, as soon as you get us into that next set of doors, it's off. Okay. And you don't got to worry about it. Okay. Uh, Rickin will take the, it takes 10 minutes and some help to start putting on the, the heavy armor. And then he's going to have to attune to it. Yep. So it's going to take an hour. You yep. guys have time for a short rest. Thank you. I need health very badly. Um, we are coming towards the close of our evening. It is still early. We don't have to end right now. But we're at 10.50. So if you guys want to do like a small exploratory uh, mission of the next tower to kind of see what necessarily might be there, um, we will, but if it looks like we're going to get into a fight, then we're going to turn around and run home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if sense. we're doing a short rest, we can do like hit dice. Yes, you can. Rest. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, thank God. God. Yeah, hit dice it up. What do we roll again? Um, as many of your... You have 11 per level. Yeah. Because yeah. you are a druid. Okay. And you add seven. your constitution modifier to each of them. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, my first two 11 D8 ones. and then add my combo to each of them? Yeah. You, you can roll them one at a time. You don't need to roll all of them at once. And for everyone you roll, you can add your constitution modifier. And whenever you want to stop, you can stop. Cool. I rolled three ones so far. Uh, yeah, even with just these, I don't need to roll anymore. I'll be at max. So okay. I'm good. <laughs> Did you roll? How many did you roll? I only rolled seven. Okay. Do keep track of how many you roll because okay. we are in a, a dungeon dough situation. So you recover half of your lost hit dice per day of rest. Right? So if you guys adventure tomorrow, the 26th of Traveler, you will, Niku, you would have four of those 11 back. Okay. Four of those seven back. Does that make yeah, sense? I use, yeah, I use seven of mine. You use seven. So I have four more? Right now I you have four them. left for today. Okay. Tomorrow, instead of having 11, you would have eight. Okay. Does that make sense? No? No, but that's okay. good. I use <laughs> all of them. You lose, so tomorrow... I'll have six. 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 Yeah. Tomorrow you will have six. Yeah. Yeah, it ends, it ends up taking like three or four days to, to get regain all, of your all your hit dice. Hit dice. You're lost. At least I'm in a safe point. That's I'm yeah. saving them for now and put yeah. them there. Big rated. Um, exhaustion. Is that a full? Is that a full rest? Requires eight hours of rest. Okay, because yeah. I frenzy rage, so I'm exhausted. Yeah. I have one level of exhaustion. Okay. So you have disadvantage on, on ability checks. Ability Not checks. Sorry. Ability checks. So. Is there any other way to get rid of that, or a greater restoration? Nah. But I, so sorry, I'm tapped on. No, that. don't so, worry. Yeah. And I also still have all, all of my inspiration to hand out too. So on the need of those ability checks, I can toss you a D10. Yeah. Tag mm-hmm. on. I mean, my only worry is stealth. I can greater sure. restoration. Can yeah? Can we can we spend it? It'll, it'll there remove go. a point of exhaustion. There we go. There we go. Okay. okay. Rothgar is mostly totally good. All right. 
Rickon is dressed. He, the armor has modified to fit him. He does look pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Um, Are all the pieces of armor cursed? Yeah. Okay. Um, Can we discern? Have we discerned what the curse is? Just that it's no. You have to. You'll need to either cast identify. Um, Most curse items are not revealed with identify, but these are. These are obviously there's more to them. Yeah, yeah. Than, and can we, see, uh, can we and leave them with a group of people that are? We could leave right? one with like Animus to look at it, yeah. right, and Absolutely. see what we could find out. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, and the mind flare. I know that he dust ash mm-hmm. ashes in the wind. Was anything left behind when he was done? Roll a percentile. Thank you. With natural recovery, is this four 18. levels of spell slots back? So, mm-hmm. so is that up to level four? So, you, back, so you, you get a single level four spell. Okay. Or you can get a level three and a level one spell. Or you can get two level two spells. Okay. 18. 18. Probably not. I'm sorry, what did I have you roll for? Uh, to see if there was anything left by the mind flare. Oh, a percentile. Yes. Yes, great. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's okay. Yeah. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. So, shall we <clears throat> set off down the hall and All right. see what's in tower two? Let's, um, let's, let's do it. Look good, buddy. You take the lead. We'll be right behind you. Okay. Here we go. As you guys go to follow him, mm-hmm. he walks through that that rune wall and that opening like a champ. You guys hit it just, boom. and and he kind of like wait, what? It takes a few minutes once he has attuned, and you guys sort of figure it out. Whoever is wearing the cursed armor can essentially place a mark. On, on people, on okay, people got it. and oh. escort them. Okay. Um, you can all make uh, Arcana checks. 23. 19. 21. The crispy six. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a nat 20 plus two, so 22. Hey. I got a six as well. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> all those high 20s and teens. Um, we get you... distracted by each other again. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the place? <laughs> We're just braiding each other's hair. <laughs> you guys can piece together a few things. One, um, it is you would have to be attuned to walk through it, Got right? It. If he, if whoever's in the armor, so in this instance, if Rick can uh, removes the mark or revokes your your mark uh, or dies, you will have to reattune and get remarked to be able to walk through any of these walls. Got it. So the armor going on uh, somebody who isn't going to die is, is key and important yeah. mm-hmm. in, this, in this instance. Um, but for this particular night, for this particular mission, you are okay. Okay. It is for the future. I do, want to put do, that out there. Does it allow you to walk through like all the doors? Like, or do we know this? Like, you do, we right. I, you guys rolled high enough. Uh, right. It seems that there are. Uh, it is particularly key to this door. This door. Mm-hmm. Right to to the doors between Tower One and Tower Two. Got it. Right. So you assume that there are two, maybe three doors in that adventure. This is where they they come in. So knowing that somebody else may have to put on another set of cursed right. armor, to or get two to three, or mm-hmm. you may need to add some form of enchantment to this to one. This one. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah, sure. Okay. So he has touched. Yep. Oh, that's, and I'm assuming our companions, the people that are resting. You guys are just going to scout the second mm-hmm. tower. Okay. We're not relocating the full camp. Got it. We're scouting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pass without a trace. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, thank thank you. you. Um, okay. 
you guys begin to travel down the, the 60 foot hallway. Um, what is your marching order? Like no front. Well, yeah, once you get past the door, once, oh, yeah, yeah. once he boops you, you can go and come. Okay. You, he doesn't need to go first through the door. Okay. Um, but he has to once he gets once he gets you booped. Yeah. Then Again. you can door it up. Oh, and for sure he delicately boops all our snoots. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yeah. I'll absolutely. Does yeah. can he just stay in Tower One while we go, or does he technically have to escort? You to sit out for a little bit. There's like a range to okay. it. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. It, it seems to be about 120 feet. Okay. Um, and then past that, your mark fades. Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll go first. I'll. I'll be next to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll be third. I mean, you guys, it is wide enough for you all to all spread out like yeah. tombstone style. Yeah. Uh, or you can two by two, or how do you want to arrange yourself? Two by two. I think two by two is probably two the safest. Two by two. Okay. So I got two, two of you two up front. Door, door, door. Who is in the second row? I guess I'll be in the second row. Second, second row. Second row. Second row. Third row. Third row. And you want Rick Ken where in that at the back, at the front, in between, back. first and second, and second and third. I know he's, so I know he's a big boy. If, if, if this if this turns into a get help, or if this turns into a like, if we go full like Chewbacca here, That's he needs fair. to be up front. He should. Yeah, he's yeah. wearing the plate. Like, yeah. Britkin, come with me. All right, here we All go. Right. go. All right. So three wide in the front. Is that what I'm hearing? Three Seeing? wide. In the front. Yeah. Okay. Three wide in the front. Hallway is wide. It's for giants. Yeah, mm -hmm. Easy. they're twenty feet tall. Um, they, it's an, it's wide enough for them to go two by two, so it's at least forty feet to thirty feet wide. Um, so down you guys go. Um, as you get closer to the end of the sixty foot hallway, you get about halfway down. You can see um, you had tried earlier. Everybody, make me an intelligence check, unless you have proficiency in like masonry tools or carpentry, something like that. Is an intelligence check? Yep. 11. 11. 16. 16. 7. A natural 20. Okay. Um, intelligence. Uh, 7. 18. 18. Okay. Yeah. Rogar, Miku, you guys can tell that there used to be, at the end of this hallway, you can kind of see the corner of the keep of the icebox. Sure. And um, you can see that there is a door to the left which will lead you essentially north um, to what you suspect is the second tower. It looks like there was at one point a door that would lead the other way along the outside of the keep that has been stoned over. Mm. Um, so just a good bit of information. Um, you guys come towards the end of the hallway and there is a identical, near identical set of large oaken doors um, that will lead another that other hallway up to the second tower. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do before proceeding? Presumably, can we, are they big enough that we could look in between like the cracks or is there... If you could open a crack, I mean, they are, for reference, the think grand cathedral doors. Yeah, that is the size of them. So you can crack them, but they are wow. not subtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. I am curious about this walled off door. Yeah, what do you think they're hiding behind it? Perhaps other ways to move around or scary monster. I don't know if it's a scary monster, but maybe just a way to walk around the town. From what we know of the architecture, do we know what would be here? Is this just an exit to walk around the tower? Um, right now, you guys are between the towers. You are on the outside of the keep itself. Um, there might be a walkway that leads to the what would essentially be the fourth tower. But here's my here's my here's my issue. Mm -hmm. I love I love being a good shortcut. But if we're gonna presume 
that each doorway is coded to a specific rune. I mean, it's good to find out if it is. It's just good knowledge to have in your back pocket, even if we can't immediately go through those doors right now. But if we know we have a quick egress, if we need to, say, get from Tower 4 back to Tower 1 real quick, you know? Well, isn't that the whole reason we're here right now? To scout and find these shortcuts? It's true. It's very true. There's no runes. Right? Can I investigate to see if there's any runes or anything around it? Yeah, make a make an investigation check. Eleven. Okay. Um, you look over the stone. You look over the stone walls. It's actually very well done. Seems to be done by the same people that built the keep. Similar to the stone floor that you guys are, are walking on, most of the castle and keep is stone. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing that seems to be wooden are the doors. Um, you guess that is most likely due to weather mm-hmm. um, and elevation, warmth, all those sorts of reasons. You don't see any runes. The only thing that looks ruined at this moment is the the new set of oaken doors. What's your favorite the bowl, guy? Right? Does Should anyone have like stone shape? I do. I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you and I the whole time have been looking at each other like. <laughs> There's no way we're not doing this. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, we yeah, gotta. Yeah. Make it happen. Make it happen, um, well, do you, like depending on how thick it is, we could both I say like we high five and then high five. <laughs> yeah, we so well one of us will do it, and if it doesn't go all the way through, then another person, yeah, then the absolutely. other one will come through and do it. So, do you want to do it? Do you want me to do it? Mm-hmm. Me do it. Okay. Got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna cast stone shape. Okay, and like uh, I don't know. We'll. we'll the whole door mm-hmm. can have up to two hinges and a latch and it's mm. five feet so yeah. cool i would like you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh. cool 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 uh, uh, 23 hey Whoa. Whoa. If this is giving me I like the worst rolls all night and the best rolls all night. So like the middle DC was thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty four, unfortunately. Uh it was close. I rolled just below that. <laughs> so the magic hits the stone and you see it recede. And then just behind there, you see the wall of runes. Different color than what you had come through. And when the magic hits the runes. The wall comes bounding back out into you, into your hand, and it threatens to envelop you Mm -hmm. um, and encase you in the stone. And as the stone begins creeping up your body, very much like a Medusa gaze or or that of a basilisk, you you break out and you sort of tense your muscles and focus your energy and and begin schleffing off all the shales and, and rocks and pieces. And then the the wall sort of proceeds back to where it was. Okay, so let's not go that way. Yes. Yes. All right, so we found that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <My turn. laughs> no, perhaps we should leave it alone. Perhaps, yeah. yes. Yeah. You might be right. Yeah, so there's a big scary wall of behind the plane wall. Noted. So it's over time people from breaking in. Yeah, I would imagine. It seems to have been a that way. <laughs> Well, we tried that. It did not work. Mm, yes. But we are all okay. I'm glad your arm is fine. Thank you. Yes. This is a weird question. Sure. Can, now that we're in this hallway, mm-hmm. can, can I walk backwards a little bit? Can we trace to see if that black rift cut any holes through Ooh, the room? Okay. Yeah, let's keep an eye out. Yes, you can. <laughs> Make an investigation <laughs> I will share with you guys what I'm doing because <laughs> I'm not a smart man. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, 14. 14. You start looking around, seeing if you can find it. Uh, you don't see it, but the rest of you are there to help. Would you like to make investigation checks? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, 21. That was not 20. 18. 15. Nine. Okay. I surround myself with smart friends, though. <laughs> <laughs> the one time I paid the 
paying attention. <laughs> it's a cookie shaped bowl in this one. <laughs> <laughs> How many rolled above 18? Okay, that's enough. Good job, guys. Um, <laughs> my good luck, guys. I use, I'm good. <laughs> I got no more good rolls left. <laughs> Okay. I hate when you get that half smile. <laughs> it's it really... really good or really bad. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, you get quiet, and then you get quiet for a long time, and you do that half a smile, and we're all just sitting here like, cool. This is, um, well, we had put things out to all of our friends, our oh, yeah. patrons, our subscribers. Okay. Uh, they did not only give you guys monsters, they also sent sure. some NPCs and some other individuals and so i'm i'm trying to okay. find the opportunity to bring them in um okay. who is looking you find the hole you find the hole that was uh that you was put good there what wh who would like you see where it is you see where it worked its way through through yeah, reality nice. Right um, through the forehead of the Black Knight. Whoa! We solved your dungeon puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are you're past the, the Black Knight door. You got other doors to deal with. Well, let's not touch that door, y'all. Um, <laughs> Just keep on keeping on. So you're gonna look yeah, through. Yeah, I'll look through. Okay. Um you you peek your head and kind of take a take a moment and you mm -hmm. can see it looks like this. Slight terror in reality has has borne through everything, and um, as you are looking through, you see this. Um, well, it's kind of hard to tell if he's shorter, short for a human, or tall for a for a dwarf, and um, he kind of. Uh, you look and you can see him. He's got some robes that are well preserved. Um, a make an insight check. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ten. Ten. Okay. Um, yeah, you can tell that he has a. He looks very much sort of like a caster. Um, pretty obvious, uh, wearing different robes and things like that. Mm -hmm. And and he's sort of, you're staring at him. Do you say anything? Oh, I absolutely do. Okay. What That's... do you say? <laughs> hey, did y'all see like a, a, a two inch um, piece of non space pass through here a little while ago? <laughs> well said. <laughs> he, um, he sort of spins around and looks at you like, see, I was trying to say that it was non-space or like a negative rip in reality. It's tricky. The nomenclature of these things gets real hard. It's such a it's such a funny thing. Absolutely. Uh, what's your name, friend? Oh, uh, hi. I, I, I'm uh, Guthrie Woodeye, uh, the tumbling troubadour, the cavalier of Clowden. Um, I'm here with um, well, some friends of mine. Uh, you seem like someone who is currently stuck in a bit of a stone room. Is, I, is, is I, that an assessment? Yes, I am in fact very much stuck in a stone room. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Daniel McWerther, the proprietor of the Ginger Sheep Corporation. Oh my God, I love the Ginger Sheep Corporation. Small world, what do you know? Uh, hey, um, Daniel, let me ask you this. Uh-huh. Would you like to not be in a stone room? I would very much like to not be in a stone room. That's what I like to hear, because we can help you get out of here. Um, you, you seem to have an air of, of the magical about you. Uh, well, once upon a time, I perhaps did. But um, in here, what can I say? The best I've got is... Uh, is oh, my gosh. What are you doing with your thumb? <laughs> a little bit of that. So, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I, mean, that, I, think, I think that'll do. Um, Daniel... I think we are in a very fortuitous situation to help you out. Uh -huh. If you would uh, be so kind as to maybe return the favor. Well, if I have a favor to return, then return Sweet. it, I shall. Okay. Um, Rohar, uh, would you mind maybe uh, shaping some of the stone, maybe about uh, yay high, like, like tall enough to get a headway? I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to insult the, the, the guy. Ooh, uh, I, I would, will look I, at you, and then I will look back at where her hand was swallowed, and then I look back at you. I would be careful with that. Uh, most of the place is fairly immutable. Um, yeah, don't touch yeah, the had, stone. We had noticed that. Well, well, don't try to make the stone be anything other than stone, I think is what we learned. How big is the hole? How big is the hole, and how big is he? 
can help with this. Oh, actually, I technically could too. Two inch hole. Hey, um, Daniel. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh, it's terrible. How do you feel you. about um, bugs? <laughs> In like a entomological sense, a theoretical sense. Like a, uh, you, you ever I hear? Mean, you ever definitely hear? not in a culinary sense. Oh no no no! I'm, I'm not gonna. Please, I'm not gonna start force feeding. No no no! I'm not. I'm not that kind of person. No no no. no. I, I mean, have you ever had like maybe like a, a theoretical like a what if? Like what if I woke up and I was a bug? I think that'd be a terrible play. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's subjective, smart I suppose. People will get that because um, <laughs> we uh, we can help you out without having to move <laughs> these stones. Oh, hey, uh-huh. actually, you just might have to be a bit insectoid for a brief period of time. Well, if you. If you ask any of my old friends, I was fairly insectoid all the time anyway. <laughs> but uh, Oh Daniel, you rap scallion. Um, yeah, what can I say? Um well, listen, we'll we'll give it a try. I will warn you, however, though it was many a day ago, I did come in here with some spells prepared. I do remember a few of them. Um it does require a force of will to cast literally anything. And other than the fact that we have this nice slit in reality here. Hello. It's glorious. Um, it is, but I'm. Sh- <laughs> we are not really? on Camster yet. <laughs> but I said one it was a glorious hole. But it was one way stuff. of God. It does technically make it a glorious it is, hole. It Y'all is. need to get your minds out of the gutter. Just saying. Uh-huh. Um, um, nice. Yes, it is. Most of these cells are null magic. Mm-hmm. Um, ruined the walls the floors the ceiling the door you can't see it from your angle but it is there however some transmutation transformative things might work you just have to um leave hard enough well daniel i i think you are in luck because we are in the presence of one of the biggest believers of anything i given enough focus mm-hmm. uh, of course but i i think we can we can make that particular line work for you. All right, let's give it a try. All right. So, of the those of us in the party that know polymorph, mm-hmm. who would like to give it a crack? Why don't like you or somebody else? Because then I can bend luck if need be. That's fair. And I, I can I can prepare. add I can add I don't know if, uh, if my inspiration, inspiration would, would infinitely help, but like I can they would toss it on. They would. I just almost turned into stone. You've got this one. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. All right. So I'll. I'll I don't I'll... think you can inspire yourself. We could go outside. <laughs> That's true. Mm-hmm. I should do it so you can inspire me. Yeah, and then you can bend luck. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah. So I'll give you. Let's you get a this. D10. One D10 of inspiration. Okay. One D10. Do I need to add one and then it'll be a so or it is going to be check. you are going to roll a spell casting check so a wisdom check you are essentially this place lives in a state of like um counter spell mm-hmm. got it or or like warp spell okay so you are essentially rolling to resist that effect right um it is a dc of 20 Okay. Um, that is bad. that is something that will be continued throughout. It might be higher once you get into the ice box, but along the outsides here, okay. that is the DC. That's just for the spell to to go off. Sure. And I can wait till you roll to decide whether. Yeah. So it spell. is a D twenty plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah. Okay. And inspiration. One D10 of inspiration. Okay. Can can help as and can a little bad luck. luck. Yeah. Yep. Oh. 17 plus 5. 22. 22. 22. And <laughs> polymorph is a range spell, correct? Or do you need to touch him? No, it's a range of 60 feet. Yep. Perfect. More than enough. So um, you turn him into... Your choice. A, a little smart bug, a little smart cockroach. Something that can fly. Okay. Yeah, cockroach, flying cockroach. All right. Cockroach. Yeah. You got it. Get on in your day. Um, everybody roll me a percentile. <laughs> Just alarm start going. No. Eleven. Five. Eleven. Three. Seventy-four. Fifty-nine. A plus. <laughs> um, I will say it is uh I rolled above all of you, so it's gonna be ten minutes of the bug. Not it's very disoriented. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and he's sudden, yeah. not smart. 
but he will eventually. We're all cheering. On yeah. the other side. Like, come on, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. There, there is a terrifying moment about eight minutes in where you guys are like, uh, he'll figure it out. Maybe you're taking turns watching and you realize that he has begun to crawl up towards the other side no. of the reality. No, no. You're like, no, don't go that way. Yeah. And then he kind of turns <laughs> back around. Uh, but yes, you do you do eventually get the um, get the bug Daniel McWerther out of his cell. All right. Well, that's... And you unpolymorph him. Yep. There he is. He is a um, he is a mole. He oh. is half human, half half dwarf. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, not a not mole. a mole. No, no, not a mole. M-U-L. I was like, <laughs> not a mole. I mean, you could. It is still nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to actually meet you in person. Nice to meet all of you as well. Um, where are we? Ooh, we got to yeah, strap in a little bit, Daniel. We'll try to okay. give you the, the Cliff Notes version of sure. this. Yeah. So we we kind of elaborate okay. what we've known, what we've seen. Yeah. And do we want to give our um, intentions? Do we want? Well, I mean, do you mean like we're want to be because we're in. Enough? Dreadhold. Do you know Dreadhold? Uh, well, now I know Dreadhold. Well, yes. I did not. I didn't arrive knowing. Okay. What did you Dreadhold. do to get put in here, might I ask? Um, well, I've been planes walking for for a while. Sure. I had businesses, uh, sort of bopped about doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What kind and, of businesses? Um, Good businesses. I funded a lot of adventuring. What? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some magical items. Um, <laughs> I have I have quite the backstory here for him that I do not know. Uh, I was planning on him. I was planning on you guys not meeting him until the icebox, but the little bit of reality tear uh, came through. Yeah, came through very nicely. Guys, you start. You start. Um, yeah. So got tired of wandering. Settled down. Opened an inn. Uh, nice. the same town his parents lived in before their deaths and he it was a hub for adventurers mm-hmm. okay, uh, like this is the ginger sheep inn mm-hmm. and uh, sort of one stop shop for weapons equipment trinkets potions all of that sort of stuff um, so he, far, so yeah uh, he slips into seclusion uh, eventually disappeared and that's about the time that he went uh, he went wandering through the prime material planes. So he's just kind of been far striding and, and hopping around. Um, but based on his knowledge of other um, planes and realities, he has at least proven himself a dangerous, if somewhat knowledgeable entity. Um, I like it. I but he, he actually knows very little of Rotom and of Dreadhold in general. Okay. Um, not sure how long he's been here. So not a great help politically, but he is a partial cleric and wizard. So hey, he I mean, he's a solid... Okay. Absolutely, yeah. He's a solid spellcaster. So you are a good guy. I like to think so. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> good enough for me. So you're good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, do, you like, do you like animals there, Daniel? Uh, sure. I mean, you know. oh, okay. Yes, he's a good okay, guy. There we go. Okay. Yeah. She's yeah, gonna give him a big old hug and kind of lift him. Well, she's not gonna lift him up because she has no strength. But she's gonna give him a big old hug and say, "Welcome to the party!" Yay! We have we're gonna have a Daniel gonna now. Lift. Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna get lifted up. Yeah. No, thank you. That's oh, that's well. Hmm. Yeah. It's very tall. So yeah, right. we're, uh, we're we're trying to more or less kind of crack the code on the uh, dreadhold ourselves here, uh, Daniel. And yeah, so if yeah. if you would care as to join us, um, on the upside, thanks to a little uh, divine intervention we've had, uh, we've tipped a scale in our favor, albeit one we were not entirely expecting to, and one that uh, we do not fully know the ramifications of yet. But would you care to find that out with us? You seem like an intrepid sort. Uh, you. <laughs> 